Hello friends! I have a quick video for you today because I have been MIA because I have been sewing for my cruise so I just wanted to do a little update to tell you what's happening with the cruise and to give you a little bit of a horrific life update. Let me get that out of the way first. Two days ago, you guys who may have been around here for a while may know my cat Keanu. He passed away. And it was very sudden, and it was awful, and he went from being a happy little boy, running around getting love from mama all the time, to needing to go to the vet uh, one day, about a week ago, <laughs> and then basically over the course of the next week, we were trying to figure out what was going on, he went to the vet, ooh, I think four times in that week because he just kept not eating and he kept getting worse and worse um, and we did do an autopsy a necropsy I, I my mom my mom says it's a necropsy if it's a, it's an autopsy in my book anyway uh, and it was cancer he had cancer in his kidney that was like one of his kin kidneys was like completely not functional and then also in his intestines so I lost my baby two days ago and it was awful and I'm not okay. Not even a little bit. <laughs> there, I already, the reason you didn't have a video sooner than this was I filmed one and then I went into dealing with just 24 hour care of him, like trying to get him to eat anything because he stopped eating, so I was just constantly trying to get him to eat, like comforting him. Sometimes he didn't want to be comforted. I needed to be comforted. <laughs> when he didn't want comfort or food, something was really wrong because that kitty was like a chow hound and he just wanted to snuggle with his mom all the time, so... That was very upsetting. Anyway, um, Tuesday, Monday night was really bad. Really, none of us got any sleep because he was not okay. And then Tuesday morning, I took him in fully expecting to put him down. And then they were trying to do a Hail Mary because they thought they understood what it was. And then they were like, whoa, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> and he died. So, um, anyway, yeah. I'm not okay. I don't know when I'll be okay. <laughs> Every morning I wake up and I miss him, so. And I know that some of you are probably like, it's just a cat, Noelle. That cat was like, my soulmate. <laughs> he was one of my soulmates, for sure. We were pair bonded, absolutely. So, the video you didn't see was telling you that I might not be going on my cruise. <laughs> because I didn't know how he was going to be doing and I was not going to leave his side if he was still sick one way or the other. He is no longer that way, so my husband has convinced me that I should go on this cruise <laughs> and go to London with Morgan and hang out in New York with people for a couple days, so I'm gonna do that <laughs> and hopefully it won't be miserable and if it's miserable before I have to get on a cruise ship then I'll just come home, but I'm hoping that it will be a nice distraction. Okay, that was the horrible thing I had to tell you. I I just want to say be nice in the comments because I'm really fragile. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, Cruz, am I ready? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> so let's talk about outfits. We have eight days and seven nights on this cruise ship, and we have... It's not, I mean, it's not really eight days because the day you get off doesn't count because you just, like, leave. So let's call it seven days and seven nights. And even that first day, you don't, you, yeah, you don't, you don't have to get on the boat in the get-up. I'm not going to get on the boat in the get-up because, like, I don't want to be standing around in the cruise terminal for several hours in, like, heels and a hat and stuff. Like, no, that's not my jam. Not going to do that part. <laughs> so, um, we are definitely gonna need something for that evening though so we have we have daytime wear and we have evening wear so let's tackle evening wear first that I do have covered I think I have my jumpsuit I have my caftan I have a formal gown I have two flapper dresses and then I have the day outfits that I have that have like silk shirts I could probably wear to dinner like pants and a silk shirt sounds fine to me I'm not stressed about that I'm probably like more casual than I should be but I also plan on like going to 
uh, maybe a couple of those fancy restaurants, you know, like where you pay extra to go to the fancy restaurant a couple times, so maybe I don't need to be <laughs> themed <laughs> or whatever. I mean, my jumpsuit isn't isn't themed. I also have a surprise outfit that no one's seen yet. Uh, I did not make it. I bought it, So, but I'm happy with it. And it amuses me to great extent, and I think it will amuse everyone, so I am excited to wear that. The day wear is where I'm having the most problems because I lost a bunch of time that I expected to have. I lost at least a week to taking care of Keanu um, before he passed, and I also lost a bunch of time to uh, getting hit harder after D23 than I expected and just like not having any sojo. Okay, so as of this morning, I had four shirts. I had three shirts that I had planned and have made the butterfly shirts and then I had one more butterfly shirt my my mock-up shirt that I made so you guys have all seen that like that one was already made on camera uh, that's not super period appropriate but I am also willing to say don't give a F <laughs> so today two things happened that are useful one I got two Amazon packages that had two more shirts in them great I have two more shirts they are, one of them I like a lot, and the other one I'm like fine with, like it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to complain. I also went to Joanne, and I got some Liberty of London fabric, which, let me tell you, <laughs> did I buy two polyester shirts from Amazon? <laughs> yes, I did. Were those like 20 bucks each? Yeah, they were. Did I spend $144 a piece on Liberty of London prints for just each shirt? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, I, I do have some silky stuff that I could have used, um, including some silk charmeuse that I was intending on making a butterfly shirt out of. I don't have it in me. I do not have it in me to do that. Like my, my soul aches at all times right now. I start crying randomly. So we are not gonna try to make a difficult wardrobe decision like in the few days that I have before I leave. I leave Tuesday. Today is currently Thursday. So I don't really have that long. So you've seen this guy, and then we also got some of this print. So these are very good for, for 1930s. This is actually kind of 20s because it's the Art Deco poppy design. I don't know if you guys can see the Art Deco in there, but it is in there. So I'm making two more butterfly shirts. So I will bring a total of six butterfly shirts and two other shirts with me. So I should have enough clothes to carry myself through this cruise, which right that's all I need is enough clothes to not be naked additionally I am expecting a package from Lynn who is sending me another hat which is very generous and kind of her she also made me some uh, elbow length gloves she is sending some fans and some jewelry like some purses that woman is amazing I do have a few of the pieces that she also already gave me she gave me a whole bunch of jewelry to wear like just loaned me she, she brought out this giant thing of jewelry and was like, whatever you want to take, you can take. So, I am. <laughs> I've also picked up some hats already, which are very exciting. I picked up a turban. Here's a little picture of me in the turban for my, of course, gold caftan. Love it. Uh, she did make me a flapper headband situation with, like, a sprig of um, f uh, feathers coming up great it's great it's gonna be great um also last time I saw this hat it was kind of munched and a little bit of a mess it's this cute little 1930s boner vintage she took the entire thing apart cleaned it and put it back together and made it just like perfect for me um I do need to tack down this netting but like it's a jaunty little hat which just super into <laughs> so we're gonna wear this guy and then on top of all that she made from scratch this one which I am just in love with has this cute little bow in the back it has this like counterbalance situation I actually think I have to take this off and then put it on again when I get there but so the hat sits in the right spot like, it's funny with my, my bandana on, but, like, you get the gist. So, I am extremely grateful and very well loved. How, how, how do I get these over 
seats is a fine question which I have not answered yet so I'm gonna work on that one <laughs> and then I have to start packing but I have a bunch of shoes going I feel like I've got all the things I need I need to go get like q-tips and you know random things that I'll need like that but like for the most part I'm ready and I'm feeling good and ready and I have a, a list it might not be complete to figure out the packing configuration still and I need to make these two shirts but other than that like I feel like I'm ready to go I'm very excited so for those of you who are like what are you talking about Noel? I am going on the Danny Wellington fantastic voyage cruise there are actually if anybody's looking to go on that it's in like two weeks and there are actual spots still open they're not very many because some people have canceled or whatever so there are rooms available for for people to go if you want to go uh, I'm going, Abby's going, Nicole's going, Morgan's going, Gigi's going, Nikki's going, Melchior's going, Latoya's going, Lauren Moyer's going. If you don't know who those people are, they're either YouTubers or they're like, Lauren Moyer, for example, is the head of my guild, the GBACG in the Bay Area. Uh, she's the president of that, um, which is a like 350 person guild. So it's a pretty, it's one of the biggest guilds in the country. So I think it might be one of the biggest guilds in the world. So yeah, anyway. Uh, there's a lot of really great people going on this cruise. I'm so excited. Uh, some of you guys are going on this cruise. I do know that. So I'm also excited about that. Um, if you're going on this cruise, please do not expect a lot of fancy clothes because I'm not going to be wearing a lot of fancy clothes. Um, but I'm there to hang out and chill. So if you are going on this cruise and you, I mean, we're going to be hanging out a lot. So come up, talk to me, see me, whatever. Uh, feel free to tell me you watched this channel and also feel free to don't tell me that <laughs> every time I meet somebody and they're like oh I watch your channel I'm like okay <laughs> I'm always like that's weird okay I still haven't really accepted that there's like 32,000 of you I'm like why anyway so uh, I'm, I am very excited to go so what's gonna happen is Morgan and I are going to London on Tuesday yep we get there on Wednesday we're gonna hang out in London from Wednesday to the following Tuesday and then head on down get on that boat we'll be on the boat for seven days eight days whatever it is until the next Tuesday then we get off that boat <laughs> I think that goes into Brooklyn uh, and take that over to Manhattan to our hotel and we will be uh, at that hotel for two nights um, in New York City maybe hanging out with some of our friends and seeing I know we're gonna see funny girl which I'm excited to see Leah Michelle <laughs> <laughs> like I've heard that's a lot of drama <laughs> so like oh I'm finally gonna get costuming drama anyway so that should be fun um, and then I'll be home barring anything ridiculous happening of course <laughs> so you guys should be getting some content from me maybe while I'm on the road maybe not we'll see I am planning on making a vlog in London a vlog on the ship and possibly a vlog in New York if we're doing anything exciting we might just be sitting around in our hotel room <laughs> I have no idea uh, how we'll be after that long of, of being out and about so we might go to the fabric district maybe I guess I don't know I don't know who knows what we'll do we'll find out when we get there anyway so you should get at least two or three vlogs out of this from me so you guys can come along on the trip if there's more content than is capable for one vlog from the cruise then I will post a second one um, if I can post from London, I will post from London. If I can post from the cruise ever, I will. I don't have internet, but I might get internet to check in with my house and stuff um, one or two times. And it says that internet's okay. I don't know what their upload speed is though, so I might do it from New York. Might do it when I get home. Who knows? <laughs> I might get home and crash. So I'm getting home, I think, on the 27th of October. I expect that I will go hibernate in my bed until, like, at least Halloween. So that is exciting and I'm very much looking forward to it and then we're gonna start the great job hunt after <laughs> start probably sometime in November I will start looking around for a job I imagine that will take me five or six months uh, because we're going into a recession and I work in the deck field and so it could take me a long time to find a job who knows uh, and I will be making content and stuff here as soon as that happens there's definitely like stuff on my list I haven't got done yet so don't worry and even when I get a job I'm still gonna be making videos so that's fine it's just probably gonna be you know I mean it's been a little bit slower here for a while I've been like kind of 
doing two or three videos a month and I'll probably continue that so we'll see I think probably right when I get a job it'll be very exhausting but we'll talk about that when it happens so anyway that is cruise update life update all the updates this is essentially a patreon video this is the kind of stuff my nose is so itchy do you guys see me scratching my nose through this whole video who I don't know why it's so itchy like it's literally the outside of my nose is super itchy I think I was like cuddling my kitties too much anyway I uh, am giving you guys basically this is the stuff I talked to patreon about so also if you would like to subscribe on patreon you can go ahead and do that. The link is always in my description if you would like that. There's a bunch of stuff always in my description. People are always asking me questions and I'm like, did you look at the description? Like if you want to know about the my ironing mat that's on my table or what my table is or any of that stuff, it's always listed. Anyway, I am going to go now because I'm clearly just chattering on for no reason whatsoever. I need And I need to go so because I really don't want to be naked on that boat ship ship <laughs> it's a cruise liner it's not even like a cruise ship it's a cruise liner an ocean liner something is different about an ocean liner than a cruise ship and i don't really know what that is <laughs> other than they're like oh an ocean liner is better okay i think it's more stable the stabilizers on it are better i don't know i've never had a problem on a cruise ship all right <laughs> i'm gonna go stop talking i will see you guys from london where i'm gonna be with morgan the whole time also going to see Constance, I'm going to see Cat of Cat's Costumery, I'm going to see Shannon, I'm going to see Amy, I'm going to see Dandy there, I'm obviously going to see Abby and Nicole, I'm going to see Bernadette, Constance, everybody, like we're all going to be hanging out. So there should be some hopefully good footage and good videos there. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye guys!